Well, we just wrapped up talking to Professor Clyde Sorensen about the historic cicada emergence that is happening right now. But we're going to dig into more about what you can expect this summer. As we talked, trillions are expected to emerge from the ground now that the temperature is warming up. Now, while cicadas emerge every year, again, this year is going to be different. 13-year and 17-year broods will be emerging as well as the annual brood of cicadas. The overlapping of these broods has been dubbed by experts as cicada -geddon. However, only certain areas will actually experience the emergence of both broods. Most will only see one. Now, here is where you can expect the 13 and the 17 year emergence. The blue is the 17 year, and it's mostly in northern Illinois and Iowa. The orange is the 13 year brood. It is more spread out, covering several states, including North Carolina. And take a look at this map here. This shows where people have spotted cicadas in our state. People can upload pictures of where they found those cicadas. So far, there are a handful of sightings across the state, including Asheville, Charlotte area, and the Triangle. Some of those are those 13-year cicadas. Well, the first cicada spotted in North Carolina was in the Triangle last week. This week, more were spotted, this time in the triad. WFMY News 2 viewers sent pictures of cicadas they found in Alamance and Randolph counties. So we went to Alamance County yesterday after we were told that cicadas were, in fact, starting to make their emerging. While we didn't find any visiting Saxapaha, uh, we spoke to a woman who found a couple near her home. She said she had kind of mixed feelings, as experts predict there will be a million of them per acre. It's exciting. I mean, good for them um, and a little terrifying because there's going to be so many of them and we live out in obviously the country, mm -hmm. so there'll be no avoiding them. Experts said people living in Randolph and Alamance counties will be seeing the most in our area. Now, a big question people have, are cicadas harmful? And the good news is researchers say nah, the beady eyed noisy bugs pose no threat to humans or to pets. Now, while we are not in danger, cicadas can damage small plants and trees. Experts say cicadas can cause problems for young trees and nurseries when they're mating and they're nesting because they weigh down and they bake, break the branches. Unlike locusts, which eat plants, cicadas do not eat plants. They get nutrients from the small branches. Experts suggest using netting to protect any new plants and new trees. I would just wait until after the emergence to plant anything else. Um, if you plant this time of year, and, you know, it's it's uh, it, they're only going to be around for a relatively brief time for about five or six weeks. All this talk of cicadas has some people wondering if the insects could be considered a delicacy. Hmm, why, yes, Brandon Lewis verifies. There's a lot of buzz on social about the upcoming return of cicadas. Some see them as a nuisance, but others on social claim the insects are a delicacy. But are cicadas really safe for people and dogs to eat? Let's verify. Our sources are the Food and Drug Administration, the American Kennel Club, Mercy Health, which serves Ohio and Kentucky, and Floyd Shockley, an entomologist with the National Museum of Natural History. It may seem odd to think about eating insects, but many are actually safe to eat, and all of our sources say cicadas aren't any different. Shockley tells Verify humans should clean and cook them before eating. Mercy Health recommends frying, roasting, or even dipping them in chocolate, if that's your thing. No judgment, but I'll just stick to the chocolate. As for dogs, the American Kennel Club says cicadas are non-toxic in moderation, although eating too many might upset a dog's stomach. So, yes, cicadas are safe for people and dogs to eat. There is one exception. Humans with shellfish allergies should skip cicadas because the FDA says they're related to shrimp and can cause an allergic reaction. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. Cicadas will be flying around and screaming for about six weeks or so as they mate and lay their eggs for the next broods. This year, with the 13 and 17 year broods emerging, experts say it will be much louder. And at times, the noise will be more than just annoying. Say a grove of trees behind us with singing male cicadas, that might be in the range of 70 to 80 decibels, which could be similar to a vacuum cleaner. But if you are really close, it could be more in the range of 90 to 100 decibels, which is really, really loud. 
While the noise from cicadas can be a little disruptive, overall they do produce environmental benefits such as being a valuable food source for other insects and other predators, as well as improving water filtration in our ground. So let's break it all down. This is what you need to know about the upcoming cicada emergence. This year will in fact be historic because the 13 and 17 year broods will emerge as well as the annual brood. Cicadas are starting to emerge here in North Carolina already. They've been spotted in the Triangle, Alamance and Randolph counties. They are not harmful to you or your pets. However, they can damage plants and trees, especially if they're young ones. Once they emerge, their burrows can improve groundwater filtration. Hey, if you missed any of this, you can find it on our website. And if you see a cicada, hey, you know what? Let us know. We want to see the picture.